I would like to bring up our fearless champion leader, Tara Goraya. Excellent. Hi, welcome back. We are in the home stretch. It is so good to, I know, converse and network, but we're almost there and we've got fabulous couple more panels left to go. But briefly, I know we keep talking about regional collaborations and partnerships. I wanted to spend just a few minutes to talk about some that already are in play and exist and others that we hope to um, generate and birth out of these experiences here as we network and partner together. So we, um, this, again, entire frame today has been about how do we do sound economic recovery, um, but how do we advance that through our collaborations and partners? I wanted to highlight a few, some that you've already heard kind of in passing either to through Dr. Pastor and Benner's presentations or others. Right now, these are the, some of the... Um, how should I say, collaborations in play that you should be aware of or get to know. I know Rise Together out of Santa Cruz, specifically Santa Cruz Community Foundation, is celebrating tonight. CITES, uh, Salinas Inclusive Economic Development Initiative, um, supported by the Monterey County Community Foundation. Woohoo! And, and I want to highlight some of these partnerships. We are partners. This is not a direct project of MBEP. However, partnerships are vital in advancing our regional economic development. And this is also part of how philanthropy plays a role, whether it's James Irvine Foundation or the local community foundations and many of you who are in the capacity to give and donate. Um, we at MBEP are the, currently the program uh, leads for Regions Rise Together, Salinas. And this is, again, these are projects that are very focused on Monterey, Santa Cruz, and San Benito in our specific region. And you heard about some of the um, uh, broadband-related consor consortia grants. The other is the Monterey Bay Housing Trust. We started back in 2016. Currently, we've had over seven million invested. Nine loans have been made. Uh, we, we talk about it sometimes. It's on our website. But sometimes we don't really talk about the scope in which it's part of our housing initiative. This is a partnership a strategic partnership with the Housing Trust of Silicon Valley. And I want to give them a shout out. They're sitting back here on table. I can't read that number. But <laughs> um, a nice shout out and to celebrate them and our partnership. And they're out of the Silicon Valley. And our partnership has been um, not just instrumental in bringing on board 688 affordable homes currently and working in the pipeline to do more and build more and advocate in that space. But it's also serving as a model, I believe, in Sonoma County and other counties as a way to partner um, in our region. We are the face of that um, housing trust and we help raise funds to do pre-development loans for housing developments. Again, an example of regional partnerships. And then briefly, I know that you may have heard some of you have been a part of the planning or part of the um, a broad coalition that we call Uplift Central Coast. It's a six county initiative. So our northern central coast, three counties of Monterey, Santa Cruz, San Benito, coupled with Ventura, Santa Barbara, and San Luis Obispo. And MBEP is a strategic partner with EDC in Ventura and REACH in San Luis Obispo. And we've gone after several funded opportunities. One is a state opportunity called the Community Economic Resilience uh, Fund around inclusive economic recovery. The other is the National Science Foundation um, Economic Engine, specifically around aeronautics and aviation corridor in the Central Coast, just got submitted uh, about two weeks back. And it's looking at our assets in this space and how can we grow and be innovative in other industries in addition to ag and tourism and that what lives here. And then of course the K-16 Regional Collaborative under the leadership of UC Santa Cruz who brought together the UCs in our region, the CSUs, the community colleges, the County Office of Education and other local school districts about what those pathways might look like. And specifically, the Community Economic Resilience Fund, so far our region has currently applied for phase one, which is a two-year planning grant. And we hope that we will know more in the next week or two from the governor's office. They're hoping to make those announcements and could look at very intentional planning and inclusive tables that we've been talking about all day. And the, you know, in the yellow box that you have all these that are listed on um, the little bullet points are all of the 
entities and organizations and industry types we want to intentionally include when creating these economic development plans. And we call, like I said, the coalition is called the Uplift Central Coast um, Coalition. And the, the vision is to truly uplift the Central Coast, California, and their residents and be on the map, both not in term, not only in terms of the economic development plans that we need to create, but in terms of advocacy and have this sound voice. As we, we are all too familiar of living in the shadows of LA and then uh, from the South and the Bay Area from the North, but how can we as a Central Coast be unified across six counties to tell our tale, to tell our narrative of the great need we have here? Um, and as I mentioned, we also just uh, um, submitted a grant on behalf of the region for the National Science Foundation, and that's to create a space and aeronautics innovation corridor. You will hear more from my colleague Josh in a few minutes more deeply about what that means. And I will end with this in that I, don't, I, 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 I love this quote because I, partnerships are just, it, it's a continuous process. You know, uh, uh, to Manuel and uh, Chris's point earlier, um, you know, as we, we grow together, we become stronger when we devote ourselves to common tasks. And sometimes it's un unfamiliar and uncomfortable, but that's where the intersection of growth happens. And so now we'll turn it over to our next panel. Thank you.